American Beauty is your soldering, brazing, and thermal wire stripping solution provider. All right, Virgil, what are we filming today? We've got a test and evaluation application here for Julian Electric. And what we've got is we've got this uh, fairly large terminal that we're going to be soldering. They've provided us with some preforms of solder that we're going to place on, on top of the terminal. And then what they're doing is they're adding a collar on here, like so. And we're going to be heating this up and flowing that solder to join these two component parts. We've got a 105C1 power unit. We're on the A and C output set at 5.5 volts AC. There's a return harness, a 105-12I, for, the I is for industrial, and this is a 10536 handpiece here, single carbon electro handpiece, return harness which is clipped to the other end of the terminal. We have a run light here, so you can see when it's active. The, uh, the heat will only actually happen when we have the uh, electrode in contact with the terminal assembly. Now coming up from the bottom, the reason being I don't want to add pressure to the ring. This will allow it to slide down with gravity onto the terminal. Thing. I'm going to see the run lights on. And it did move, but the solder is still liquid. You can go in and set that back where it belongs. There's uh, properly aligned again. And we'll do this again uh, with another hand piece, the 10587, which will be uh, hooked up with both carbons on the other side, and I'll get it hooked up and ready. Okay, we've changed over. We got the 10587 large plier hand piece with another assembly set up and ready to solder. I did turn the power up to the highest uh, location on the power unit, 6.9 volts AC. And there we go. Additional fixturing can be used to keep the added collaring from moving while soldering. You will find several other test and evaluation videos on YouTube and on our website at AmericanBeautyTools.com.